YouTube or what it do. It's your boy Steph, man. Welcome back to another cold video, man. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, follow me at stephascode.com. You guys want one-on-one -on -one consultations, go to stephascode.com. Today's video is stop comparing yourself to others. Okay? You have to understand. You have to look at where you are at in life right now and understand that just because someone is ahead of you doesn't necessarily mean anything. Okay? It doesn't mean anything if they're ahead of you, okay? What you need to do is compare your your old self with your new self, okay? Don't compare yourself to guys that's in their 40s or guys that's in their 50s that has their stuff together. In fact, you're never going to reach a point in your life when you like, man, I, I, I ain't got it all together. Like, it's just not going to happen, bro. I'm just being real with you, G. You never going to reach a point in your life when you like, bro, I just got it all together. Right. The number one thing that is going to help you become successful in life, bro, is being very simple with your life. That's the number one thing that's going to make you successful, making your lifestyle very simple. But the grind is going to be very hard. Let me say that one more time. The key is to make your lifestyle very simple, but make the grind very hard. See, when it's time to put in the work, when it's time to get better, when it's time to wake up early, when it's time to ignore the DAB, dumbass bitch, you know what I'm saying? When it's, when it's time to really focus on yourself, when it's time to make content and lock in, when it's time to lock in on your physique and lock in on your diet, when it's time to sharpen up your skills and get better, there's no time for excuses. There's no time for excuses. Right? There's just not. There's no time for excuses. We want to simplify everything. We want to make our life as very simple as possible. A lot of you guys say, bro, why you wear the same hoodie every day? Why you wear the same black shirt every day? Why you wear the do-rag every day? Because this is my lifestyle. I make my lifestyle as simple as possible. I brush. I put oil in my hair. I brush again. I use a soft brush. I, put, I use the plastic bag and I put my goddamn do-rag on. I go in my covenant drawer and I grab me a beater and then I grab me a gray hoodie and I put on some gray jogging pants and my all white new balance i'm not thinking about what the hell i'm finna do for the day because i already planned my day yesterday and the day before yesterday and it's an everyday progress that i'm getting better i'm making my life simple so i can make more money i'm making my life simple so i don't have to stress and worry i'm making my life more simple so i can be ahead of the curve i'm making my life simple so i don't have to compare and contrast I just get inspired. Stop comparing and stop comparing and trying to contrast your life with this other guy's life and get inspired by his life. Don't compare, get inspired by it. Don't compare that they driving a Rolls Royce, my nigga, and you in your early 20s trying to drive a Rolls Royce. You in your early 20s trying to figure out how can you make six figures. Figure out how to make four and five figures first. See, we always trying to jump the gun Instead of just making things simple and letting the game come to us, let the game come to you while steady grinding hard and putting in the work instead of you chasing the game. It's okay. It's okay that you in your 20s or your late teens, you 18, 19, 17, you know what I'm saying? You graduated high school, but you want this nice car. Bro, hold up, my G. Slow down. Slow down, son. So, slow down, son. Go get you that hoopty. Right? Go get you that hoopty that costs about a, a, a stack, $1,000, $2,000, $500, $900. Put some work into that hoopty. Because the hoopty is going to get you from point A to point B to point C to point D. You feel what I'm saying? Make your life simple. So I'm waking up in the morning. I'm brushing my teeth. I'm getting in the shower. I know what I'm wearing. I'm not thinking about drip. I'm not thinking about what kind of drip I'm going to come with. When I'm going, when I was working my nine to five G, I wasn't thinking about what kind of drip I'm gonna wear to impress these three hundred fours. I'm thinking about what can I do to make my life as simple as possible so I can make the max, so I can maximize my life. It's called min maxing in video games, right? I'm not thinking about jewelry and all that shit when I'm going to go to my job, working my hours. When I'm making my content, when I'm batch recording, I'm not thinking about all the goofy stuff. I'm thinking about, man, I got to, this is, this is my set schedule. This is what I got to do. 
Not worrying about what he doing, man. Okay, I'm gonna wake up at 5 a.m., 6 a.m., man. Pack, uh, pack my music. I gotta be at work at 8. I work at 8. I get off at 5. After I get off, I go to the gym. I'm not worrying about what everybody else is doing. I'm worrying about my, my potential, how I can min max what the hell I got going on. I'm not trying to compare and contrast. He got a Cartier bracelet. He got a Rolex. He got an AP. Damn, how can I get that? Baby steps, my nigga. Get an Apple Watch first. Get a G Shock first. We want shit so fast. We want things so fast. Hand it to a man. I want that scat pack. I want that Hellcat. Man, you don't have you don't have the income. You don't have the means to get that right now, bro. But I know it sounds like wah, 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 to you right now because when I was 17, 18, 19, 20, I wasn't trying to hear that goofy stuff neither. But you live and you learn. You understand why, why why OGs move the way they move. So you got to start watching people who you want to be like. You want to start watching people that you inspired by. You want to start watching people that's going to get you motivated. That's going to get you going. You want to start wa watching people that you can mimic. You can mimic some of their behaviors and add to your life to make your life more simple. You know what I'm saying? I watch a lot of Brandon Carter. Guess what he's doing? He's walking all the time. Okay, let me add walking to my schedule. It's not that hard. I'm not going to make no excuse to be a fat ass bitch. A lot of us make excuses to be fat as fuck, but we want baddies. The money not just going to save you, G. You can't just chase the money. You, you can't. You can't, just, you can't just. You can't just focus on the money. The mo the, the, it, it's just not self-improvement with just the money. Feel what I'm saying? We got to make sure we're getting our mind right. You can't get your mind right when you're just focusing on the chicken bag. I mean, you got to read. You feel what I'm saying? You got to hit the gym. You feel what I'm saying? You got to go on walks. Feel what I'm saying? You got to sacrifice. All of this is a part of self-improvement. Self-improvement. Don't, don't, don't poison your brain looking at, bro, he got the nice-ass chain. You ain't got a chain. It's levels to this shit, bro. Slow down. It's going to be okay. Your time going to come. Or you want to jump the gun. You want to jump the gun, right? You don't want to jump the gun. You running track and they be like, runners, take your mark. Get set, your goofy ass. <laughs> uh, violation. Because you trying to jump the fucking gun. Don't jump the gun. Take your time. Take your time. Know what you want to do. Take your time. Know who you want to be around. Take your time. Know who you want to take game from. Take game from the OGs, bro. Take game. Okay, that's how you do that? Okay, let me add that to my arsenal. I already got a couple, you know, a couple cold weapons in my arsenal. Let me add what he got up in there. I ain't trying to take from him. and I'm not hating on him. I just like what he do. Let me add that to my arsenal. Okay, he up at five. Okay, let me try to get up at five. Or let me try to get up at six. You feel what I'm saying? Oh damn, he drinking black coffee. Why he drinking black coffee? Why he not drink? Why he not putting creamer and sugar and all the goofy shit in his coffee? Let me try. Ah, it tastes nasty. Oh, but it's gonna help me look more shredded. It's gonna help me get more shredded. I ain't putting all that goofy shit in my body. Damn, why that nigga hitting the gym four or five times out the week? Oh, that's the benefit of it. He not fat and the sloppy. All the hoes want him. Okay, let me start. Let me let, let me start doing that. Cause he already getting to the money. So now he hitting the gym. Okay, let me add that to my arsenal and see why he going to the gym so hard. Oh, damn, that's that's the kind of car he got. Oh, but he working every day. Oh, so that's why he got the car. Okay, let me put down something in my brain that's going to motivate me to get the type of car I want or get me the type of goal that I'm going to get. We got to be motivated and driven by the goals, G, every single day. It has to be something that's just instilled. instilled. It's got to be something that's just instilled in you, instilled in you, instilled in you, instilled in you. I knew when I bought that x -Cat pack, I knew I'm going to buy me. I'm going to buy me a Hellcat. I'm going to get me one. Uh-huh. I'm not going to stop. That's the goal. I'm not stopping. I'm going to give me that Hellcat. And what did I do? I didn't buy one. I bought two. I did not just buy one. I bought two. And they don't make them anymore. <laughs> I, put, I put my mind to it. It's just, a, it's just a dodge. That's that negativity goofy shit. It's just a dodge, bro. It's just a gym, bro. You taking the gym so serious? Why are you taking the gym so serious until your wife keeps staring at me? 
So when your when your wife keeps staring at me, then you want to start understanding why niggas take the gym so serious. Then look at bro, bro trying to show off. He's trying to take off his hoodie in front of my girl. See, when you on your purpose and you get into the chicken bag and you looking colder and colder and colder, you start to intimidate the weak motherfuckers around you, the inferior motherfuckers. You start to make them feel some kind of way because they're not willing to put in the work. I don't know how you do that 20 minutes on the stair master. I just start off small. You trying to do what I do, bro. Slow down some. Start off at level five. Then go to level six for 10 minutes. Then go to level seven. You go to level seven, 15 minutes. Then you go level eight. You go level eight for 15 minutes. Then you go level nine, 15 minutes. Then you go level 10, 10 minutes. Then you go level, you go back to level seven, 20 minutes. Then you go back to level eight, 20 minutes. It's like a slow grind progression. You feel what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's baby steps and it's the small amount of consistencies that you're going to do every single day that's going to get you colder. It's the reps that you put in. It's the reps that you put in. You keep on putting the reps. I promise you, you're going to get better. Bro, your muscle ain't going to grow off one 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 rep, uh, one arm, uh, uh, one arm uh, rep max. You know, these niggas be doing one rep maxes and shit, nigga. If that was the case, we all be doing one rep maxes, but we only do that once every once every few weeks. To test our strength. To test the consistency that we put in through doing 10 reps, 12 reps, 15 reps, 20 reps. Okay, I'm doing 10 reps at this kind of weight. I've been doing this for the last month. Okay, let me try my one rep max. So every day when I'm getting motivated, I'm going to the gym. That's what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about that one rep max. But before the one rep max, I'm doing 10 reps, 12 reps, 15, 20, 10, 12, 15, 20, 10, 12, 15, 20. Before I'm doing an hour on a Stairmaster, I'm doing 20 minutes. I'm doing 15 minutes. I'm doing 30 minutes. I'm doing 40 minutes. Before I can make that six figures, I'm making four figures. I'm making five figures. Then I'm making six figures. Feel what I'm saying? You, 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 you understand what I'm saying, bro? Before I get the Hellcat, I had the 2001 Alero. I had the Nissan Altima. I had the V6 Charger. I had a Dodge truck. You you feel you feel me? Like we 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 so we so horny to want to jump the gun without putting in the fucking. All I want to say is this, bro. If you just stay focused, bro, on the goal that matters, bro, and you just dig until that goal busts, bro, bro, you would you would be good, bro. You're gonna have days where you just don't feel like doing anything, bro. But that's how you let the enemy win. You can't let the enemy destroy you, bro. <laughs> you so much colder than what you realize. You so much better than what you realize. But sometimes, you know, my little brother was like, Steph, you know, you ever feel like we had that, that, that bitch in our head? Yeah. That's the weakling. Three days a week is just enough at the gym. Bullshit. If you just a beginner... You think work? You think going to work three days a week is enough? Going to your job three days a week is enough? That paycheck gonna be little than a bitch. 